Welcome, early birds. Really good to see you here. I'm Callista Redmond, CEO of Risk Five, and I'm super excited to kick off our summit week with all of you. Uh, I know Risk Five 101. Some of you in the audience I know are well versed in Risk Five already. So I appreciate you here, and don't feel shy about chiming in with additional little uh, golden nuggets to help all of us on our journey to realizing the Risk Five potential. Um, yeah, that's me. Welcome to Risk Five 101. And we have a packed agenda today. So I hope that many of you will be here for the full summit this week, but today is really dedicated to uh, accelerating your on-ramp, thinking about how uh, Risk Five applies to you as a person, to you as companies, to you as students, to you as uh, your stakeholder interest in Risk Five. At the end of the day, Risk Five really is about the community that we're building, the collaboration that we're embarking on, and the implementations that are going to market. Some of you may have heard me say this before, but open collaboration, unless it reaches commercialization, is called a hobby. We don't need more hobbies. I can't keep up with the hobbies I've once, you know, imagined, you know, kickboxing, snowboarding. I'm a horrific snowboarder, by the way. Um, camping, you know, things like that that make us human. And Risk Five is a great hobby, but it really starts to gain traction, passion, and dedication of an entire community when we come together on it. So I'm excited that you're here embarking on your journeys. Uh, regardless of where you are in that journey, it's important that we come together and know that this is your family. This is your Risk Five family. Lean on us, talk to us, get to know us, make a lot of new friends, especially if you're here for the week. So we have a lot of uh, great talks today. Uh, I'm in charge of welcoming you and, uh, and introducing the agenda. So uh, John Ronco of Sci-5 will talk about what is Risk Five in the first place. We've already gotten past the how do you pronounce it part, so you know we're well on our way. Uh, why? Risk Five. Keith Graham of CODASIP will talk about why are people making the decisions to go with Risk Five. Risk Five is fundamentally changing the course of history. In fact, we're writing a new history, and this is, uh, you know, the first chapter for many. And some are well on their way. The Risk Five ecosystem. Ted Spears of Microchip is really deep in this subject. He's been uh, working over at Microchip on things like Polar Fire SOC, which, by the way, is also the Wi-Fi code. Uh, and if you need help getting on the Wi-Fi, you know, let us know. Uh, but he will talk about, you know, how do you accelerate that developer journey on Risk Five, and what can that mean for you? Uh, where are the tools and resources to make that possible, and how is it growing today? Right, Ted? That's what you're talking about. I just covered a whole bunch of stuff, so I, I got, you know, I got your back if if we need to fill in. Uh, make versus buy on Risk Five with Larry. Uh, he's got a great presentation ready to go, and uh, thinking about you know, do you work with and collaborate with development partners? Do you think about building your own or uh, enacting your own journey? The thing about global open standards is it lays the foundation for you to bring your differentiation on top of and around that, and that really is a powerful thing as you go to compete in the markets, domains, industries, uh, and such, uh, you know, from the smallest, lightest weight processors all the way to robust data center implementations, it's really cool that you can, like, really create your own journey and differentiate. So make versus buy is a compelling discussion there. Software, uh, Jeffro is going to be talking to us about that. He's over at Red Hat today. He was formerly part of the uh, Risk Five staff, so he has a long history with Risk Five, and uh, will bring us lots of compelling information about where that software ecosystem is and how to continue growing that. Getting involved in Risk Five technical communities with Martin Moss over at Google, uh, you know, realizing and growing your technical skills, engaging in technical work groups to influence and strategically drive the direction that we're taking as an organization through to specifications and ratifications, engagement, contribution. Maybe you start as a spectator, and maybe you end up as a leader, a chair, a vice chair of a work group. 
These are important and compelling reasons to show your technical leadership. Build your technical eminence in this community, not just as an individual, but as an organization that you may represent. So a lot of fun stuff in pack, uh, in, intact here for today. I'll be back later today to help us wrap up these sessions, and I'm looking forward to meeting and engaging with any of you and all of you. Uh, if you need to reach any of us on staff, pretty easy to find, first name at riskv.org, and looking forward to uh, embarking on the journey together with you. So here we go. It's time to kick it off. <laughs>